So, Alan, four goals, three points, clean sheet. Mike, Mike, you must be happy, ha happy with that. Yeah, keeps the winning run going. Uh, the boys did really well on Saturday, obviously in the cup. And uh, they brought in tonight's game as well. The good thing is we managed to get so many boys that didn't get the minutes on Saturday on the pitch today. Uh, we've got, I keep saying it, we've got a good squad of players. It's shown in, in the performances that we're putting out every week. Really, really happy with the intensity that we're uh, playing at. I thought it went a bit flat, maybe start the second half. Yeah, but you can understand that when you're seeing us at half time. Uh, first half, Fina up, you must be happy with that, but with the goals, especially with the goals, we, we, we scored two. We three really good goals. Well, we, at the end of the day, we've, we've been working on part of our play at training, and it's good to see that when, when it comes off in the games. Uh, Scott's been working with the boys in throw ins as well, and I thought the play most pleasing thing is, <laughs> believe it or not, it's quite silly. We played uh, some really good throw ins to keep the ball when the ball was at the pitch. Uh, because Scott spoke to him and we did a wee bit in training and we like to see that if you see what you're talking about uh, getting on in the pitch as a coach you love it okay the boys are buying into it as we keep saying every week but most importantly they're, they're playing with a smile on their face because we're, we're moving the ball about well uh, they know they've got players in the team that can take the ball into feet and we've got players in the team that can run with the ball so we've got a wee bit of variety when we get on the ball uh, but I must say a special thing to, to Dean as well the keeper uh, Dean has not got much to do and a lot of the games that we play, but tonight you pull off two great saves to, to keep us a, a clean sheet. Uh, when you see the games we've played, we've obviously still unbeaten at home. Is that a aim for the season to make this place a fortress for our teams to come to? To be honest, it's not just be unbeaten at home, we want to be un un try to get unbeaten all season. And at the end of the day, we've, we've got the, the, the result at the beginning of the season that we're still waiting on. Uh, we've got uh, a, a lot of good results for, since then and we've got to kick on. Uh, any game you want to get into, you want to remain unbeaten, whether it's uh, the league or whether it's the cup. Uh, and at this moment in time, the way the boys are playing, it will take a good team to beat us. Uh, Sadly, Bonas away in the league. We obviously beat them earlier 3-1 uh, in the cup, but is it going to be a different game to you, a harder game going into it? I don't think it'll be any different away from home as, as at home. We'll still play with the same intensity, we'll still try and get the ball down and play our football. Uh, Bowness obviously uh, have got good team as well. I've said that right for the start, but we've got to capitalise on the things that we can do well. I've never in my whole career as a manager worried about the opposition. Uh, if I can set my team up correctly and my players want to play the way that we want them to play, uh, I'm, I'm more than confident that the boys we've got on the pitch can do a job on Saturday. It will be difficult, but any any game we play in this league, I get told that last year, oh, there's easy games in this league and some of the teams last year took points off us. Uh, I'll need a good team this year to take points off us because the squad we've got and the way the team are playing, I'm more than confident that we can we can get a result. Thank you. No problem.